Why not leave it there? The old man screaming at the TV screen. Who even has a TV screen? Teenage dream of teenagers screaming in their wriggly spirits. I'm too loud to hear it. Too loud and too fast. The car's going into the parking lot like paint on canvas. My ass and Lambo. What do you know? Who is the shore you call home? Can you call them for me? I'm lonely in the ear of a moped buzzing like a saw. I see, I saw racist jokes about names and spoons bending your ear into my ear. Into who hears my brain? What is your brain? What is a brain? You don't know any more than I, Mr. Science Man, with your fancy tits and the high test learning. What about the atrocities? It, re it, it grates or recognizes or refuses to prevent? Why make refuse and refuse spelled the same? What about it, brain? How did the brain become a gun, become a bullet, become a life-saving medicine? Remember when the brain thought the world was as flat as a preteen's butt? Remember when the brain killed the brain for claiming revolutions around the sun? The brain who... Who is who? What is who? It was before we knew language, math, and fractals are counting on your fingers. We're all stupid enough to count on our fingers to be there even though we're a fumbling mess. Say one thing, mean one thing, meaning more than one. Interpretation is a bitch. You divorced because it understood you better than a mirror. Mirrors are clear representations of who we are not. Ephemeral photographs that make us laugh and flex and masturbate. Brain talks to the mirror in anticipation of speaking with you. You? Who are you? If I am a brain and you are not a brain, where is the brain and who cares what it is or is not? I put my foot in a door once because it closed. The brain invented roast tea in the two-party system. Aren't humans great? Aren't we our own world? Aren't we just wild? Just wild! No, motherfucker, we ain't that! We brain! We are put our thoughts out in the world and everyone agree or complain! We invented just outside just to be attacked! We invented the inside to retreat. We're at war. See? 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 Do you see me? We invented the outside to come. Let's go outside. Have you ever been in love? How can you not be? The body, your body is a chemical. It's just a drug that forces you into how you be. What did the hunter say? Never trust a drug? That's everything. We're all just a rant, a source of light, and sweat made into a hump, a lump, and thing. We've got... <laughs> We gotta get healthy, gotta get civilized, gotta be nicer and stand up for ourselves. Sit the fuck down! <laughs> Jesse JK. Just kidding. Wait, wait, don't kill me. It's the NPR show I listen to that no one's ever made. Crazy. Did the brain create insanity? Because it certainly invented cleanliness and loneliness and God. Well, I like to suck on cocks and lollipops and clits, and I think revenge isn't really a dish, but. Who I'm to tell the Pied Piper how to deliver if I'm not willing to accept I'm the brain and I'm wrong because I can only be right if I invent wrong. And if you're the brain who left me alone with myself, then you're the fucking center of the universe and that's me. Center of the universe needs more verse. We put coffee in a container the same way we do our bodies and we drink them up. It doesn't matter. You don't matter and I don't matter. Matter is what we are and always will be. The life and death aren't as important as the being, but the brain doesn't know that until it sees it. All my dead friends had to die to make me, and I'm super bummed about that. Sippy sigh. Oh well. I'm glad Whitman died to make me. I'm glad Rosa Parks died to make me. I'm glad Trump and Pol Pot lived to make me. Make us. It's not just the good. The brain invented the good. See, we're all out here to hate and be hated and shit and to be shit on, and that's us. And we make all of us, and we need all of us just because we need to get some of that to get rid of us and to reflect. That's all a disagreement is, is reflection. And you see, right away, you're fat and obese and disgusting, yearning to be loved and be loved and to be free because you're a drug, a dirty fucking chemical scum. We're at war with ourselves and we're leading the charge to attack each other. That's what's up. That's what's up. Get down. That's what's up. The previous <laughs> statement was written in a single burst of panic. I'd have to talk to someone if I didn't keep writing. <laughs> to me, I'm the supposed author. I'd say... This represents how much I'd like to run away, uh, how much I'd like to run into my girl, ex-girlfriend and have a happy interaction coupled with the fear of that ever fucking happening. <laughs> Even if it did go well. <laughs> Boy, it probably would not. Boy, howdy. <laughs> Paired with a general sense of being okay, yet in a rush to get to all places and do all the things, as it's so popular to say these days, I feel Phil K. Dick would have been impressed with by both the speed and alacrity which I attacked the page to hide from <laughs> kind, plump individuals whom I tried to help connect to the internet at Pete's Coffee House in Portland, Oregon, during a writer's conference I have essentially not attended. Feliz Navidad. <laughs>